UConn football is presented by Nissan. It is a muggy September Saturday afternoon for an old-school New England rivalry that dates all the way back to 1897. Today in East Hartford, Connecticut, and Rhode Island meet for the 96th time. Xavier Scott in the backfield with Pindell. Looking to throw on second. Looking for Scott. He's wide open on the wheel route. He makes the grab. And a late hit to boot. Here. Agreed. He was clearly out of bounds. And a nice job by David Pindell in the pocket, working through his reads. And then flips it up on the wheel route. Now it's a third and 12 for the Huskies, looking to keep the drive alive. Pindell steps out of the pocket, looking to run. He gets by one man. Has open field. He could score. David Pindell into the house. The Huskies are on the board. That's what Rhode Island was worried about. David Pindell's ability to get out of the pocket. You see the Rams bring some pressure and there's some pursuit, but there's really no one around David Pindell. Don't know why number 15. Eight of three sets up second and seven from the 28. Off the play fake, Pindell with time. Now he's forced to move. Running out of room, throws across the middle of the field and has his man for a catch in URI territory. Working hard to get open for his quarterback. URI does everything right here. Watch the flow, but look at the discipline. They don't give David Pindell the ability to run, but that little jab step and the juke to the left creates enough room and enough time for him to be able to get the ball down the field. That's great work by David Pindell. Players have been thinking about all summer. They would love to have been recruited by a power, by an FBS school. Now Mensa has an alley inside the five, high step and pop, but he holds on for the touchdown. And the Rhode Island defensive line, when they get penetration, they got to make a play. Brandon Gennetti is back there, but look at the hole that it opens up because he penetrates so far upfield. I'm wondering if the... On second and two, do they go deep? Lawson with time, and that is picked off. What a play there by number 31, O'Neal Robinson, the freshman out of right here in Hartford. Lays out, makes the pick. That's one of the things that Rhode Island was worried about is that if you make the throw to the outside, you have to gauge the athleticism of these players at the FBS level. And what a play by O'Neal Robinson. What a great layout. Hit him in the hands and he tucked it in. Goal from the five. Pindell with time, over the middle, touchdown by Allen. They were listening to you, Eamon. Just running the end line on the back of the end zone. You see it as David Pindell does. Watch that back end zone line. Great anticipation right there from David Pindell. It's when we were 20 years old. No thank you. Right. Pindell with all day. Has a man wide open. It's the freshman who makes the grab. Heron Masu taking it to the farmhouse, warehouse, outhouse, henhouse, and doghouse. 74 yards. Husky score. Pindell, sometimes when guys run wide open, you can overthrow. Number nine, Rashad Dickerson fell. You're going to see one more so makes the catch. You see number nine and how far he is behind him. It's because he slipped and fell. Better to read it when you do. You all know you can't hit the quarterback. I can't hit a wide receiver either now. Here comes pressure. Into the end zone. Great adjustment by Mayala, and he makes the grab. Ayala with a touchdown catch, and we don't have enough time to play all the touchdowns. Second and two, Pindell into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Aaron McLean brings it in for his second touchdown of the year. Ooh, settle in. Because I think the score is going to continue. This one will be returnable. Evans loses the football. Huskies recover. Opening kickoff fumbled, and UConn jumps all over it. Gate to start the second half, and URI bringing pressure. The hole opens up for Mensa. Gets to the outside for the first down and gets out near the 40. Backs here on this play. Under a minute to go. Delayed snap, but Pindell able to follow his blocker in. But right now, all eyes on second and seven, and Pindell back to Mensa. And he might just score here. Mensa keeps his feet going and is in the end zone. 22 yards for Kevin Mensa. 
What a hole opened up by the offensive line of the Connecticut Huskies for Kevin Mensa to get in the end zone and score that touchdown. There's also 57 seconds left. I was waiting for the extra point to throw that one in there, Andy. Rips <laughs> to the left. Jones in the backfield. Here comes pressure. He's going to get hit, and he is sacked. Now they got to take their final timeout. And run a corner route into the end zone. Trips to the right. Pressure up the middle. He will not get rid of it. It's over. UConn survives. Eli Thomas with the sack.